<laughs> and and before we, we hit turn the mic on, I heard him say, Steve Jen, Executive Director, <laughs> Sanderson Farm Championship. Steve, good morning, sir. How are you? Yeah, yeah man, what a good morning, too, right? Um, Woo. Got a couple extra hours of sleep that we don't have, don't normally get uh, last week, so uh, feeling pretty good. Pretty good. If you were writing a script on the ending of this one, uh, it would be Academy yeah. Award stuff, wouldn't it? Yeah, that was fun. Uh, you know, have five guys <laughs> go into a, a shootout like that. I think we could have mm -hmm. got, you know, if someone would have had it, if somebody else would have had another birdie putt to tie Luke, I think we could have gotten one more hole in. Uh, we could have played 18 again, but that was that was pretty fun. I mean, we, you know, extra time on the Golf Channel. I think we were in ESPN's top top 10 last night or this morning. Um, at least someone sent it to me. I was not watching, that? but um, it was uh, – it was fun. The weather was beautiful. Crowds were amazing. Yeah. I mean, we're we're still tallying up numbers, but I think it was a phenomenal week. Well, I was just going to ask you. I know, I know it's a little early as far as the contributions and everything else as far as the to the charities. How, how long will it take to get those numbers in? It'll take a couple months. Um, you know, we have vendors that need to bill us. Uh, yeah. A lot of our food and beverage is based on consumption, so those vendors have to go through those numbers and and get those back to us so you know it'll it'll take a couple months for us to get us to get still get paid on some things and for us to pay some people and then yeah i hope to have that done pretty close after thanksgiving in order for my board to have their fourth quarter meeting in december and then we'll we'll that's tradition we'll make our announcements in january Stephen, I was looking on, on social media and uh, there was a lot of comments out there that people thought it was the biggest and best ever they were. There was a lot of people commending the uh, the people putting this on as far as how easy it was and and the things that they had to do when they got there. So, kudos to that one. But as far as numbers and, and attendance, those numbers will also come in later. Yeah, I mean, we'll take a. We haven't sat down take, to, taking any kind of yeah. glance at Ticketmaster numbers or whatever we did. I mean, it's just you weren't near the heat of it, right? Right now, our our priority is get everything off the golf course, get the course back to the members, um, get our vendors off the course. That's that's kind of what yep. we're working on right now. But yeah, I I felt the same way. My gut tells me it was, you know, it was really good, um, better than the better. Hopefully, bigger crowds than last year. I, we you know we're always worried when there's home, you know, Ole Miss and State and Southern games that could pull people off on Saturday. I don't really think we saw an attendance dip on Saturday because of those games. Um, you know, I think the weather, everybody's, you know, gosh, it's been so hot for so long, right? Everybody was just thankful for yeah. some weather. Yeah. I mean, 40 something degrees yesterday morning. Um, but I appreciate everyone's comments. That's what we work all year long for is to make sure everybody has a great time, that it's easy, it's convenient. Um, and I'm thankful to hear those comments. It's not only that. It, it's the fact that if you and I were in a room putting this together and choosing a date, then you had uh, cruising the coast which draws literally tens of thousands of people on the Gulf Coast. Then you had the fair going on uh, and the PGA event. So there, and, and that's that's on top of a lot of other little uh, uh, cities having their own different festivals and downtown events. So it was a lot of competition. But uh, as you said, I, I don't think it's hurt it at all. No, I mean, you know, hey, come out to the golf tournament, go to the fair at night. Um, yeah. Listen, I, I think when there's more things going on in the state and the community, that's better than yeah. not having those events at all, right? And so if there's a influx of events like that and we're all in the same week, I mean, I, I think it's great. It's kind of like a few years ago when I got here, you know, Ole Miss and, and State were fighting for number one. You know, obviously those just have, you know, are, are pretty intense, but yeah. I, I think it's, you know, it's great when both schools and do well and because everyone's talking about us, right? It's kind of like the theory of of uh, where, where do you put the uh, uh, the restaurant? You don't put it in a nice place. You put it with a lot of other restaurants, and and sometimes it works better. So you you right. are right. So um, when do you start working on next year? Today, um, at last week, <laughs> I, you know we, you know somebody said last night, I said, oh man, day seven, this is great. I'm like, nope, this is day three sixty five, and tomorrow's day one. Um, mm -hmm. We. You know, during the course of last week, we're already looking at things that we might want to tweak for next year. You really don't know until you have it and it's built and you see how the sponsors and the fans and everybody reacts to some things that, um, 
you know, so we already really kind of started planning on things we want to change, things we yeah. want to tweak last I'm week. A, I'm, I'm, a little cur- I'm, I'm, I'm a little curious. What would what would a couple of those be? Um, you know, I think we want to look at some traffic patterns, you know, for some golf carts. I think we want to look at, mm-hmm. um, you, know, it, it, you know, egress and, and, and exit. And, um, you know, we want to probably take a look at, you know, we try to build what we can sell. Well, we kind of want to yeah. take a look at some of our structures on 18. Is that the right thing for those? Um, uh, you know, is it, is it, do we put the, you know, concession stands in the same places? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work with our vendors and say, hey, yeah. how are the numbers on this concession stand? You think it would make sense being over here based on traffic flow? So just a lot of little details that we try to take a look at. In, in the minutia. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if somebody says, look, I'd like to next year be a part of this as a corporate sponsor. They, I, I would think they can't wait till the last minute. W- what's the best time for them to do it? Tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, I, you know, and like call me in like 15 minutes, and we can start talking about that. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, we'll. It'll take. I mean, if, if obviously all our information on how to reach us is on SandersonFarmsChampionship.com. Dates next mm-hmm. week are September 30th through October 6th. Uh, it, it'll take us a, a little bit to kind of talk about exactly what we're doing in hospitality, but we can have those conversations. We know we'll have two programs uh, on Monday and Wednesday, and we'll have a few other events. So it's really, if someone wants yeah. to talk to John Mercer and Aaron Kiker and myself, it's it's not too early to do that. Um, uh, Lance and I were talking off the mic a few moments ago, and, and Lance was kind of taken aback by the, uh, what was it, Lance, All the, the, the logo of the rooster? We, we, the rooster. Find- Man, I was yeah. so fired up and impressed at seeing that on everyone. I mean, y'all had to have crushed it in the gift shop, and the logo was amazing. Yeah, it's a really cool, neat little logo. And, you know, yeah. even the folks in the PGA Tour, I may have more rooster logos floating around Ponte Vedra Beach than tour logos on some days. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think everybody loves simple is, and small is better. Everybody kind of loves, loves Revelé and um, Revelé. That's I, I, it. I, 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 I knew. I forgot the name of it. Yeah, that was it. Revelé is yeah. the, the the name of the rooster. So there you go. Yeah. Well, just to wrap things up, um, what do we need to do before next year? Then I mean, we we just just as you said, put your nose to the grindstone and and start building for next year. That's exactly right. Um, you know, everything we do is for charity. Uh, you know, I, I think everybody that had a great time out there, um, talk to us about what you want to do next year. We'll talk to you. We'll be talking mm-hmm. with sponsors here in the next couple months about renewing. Um, uh, you know, talk to some PJ Tour players when I'm out next year about things that they saw that they want to change. I mean, the golf course was just so excellent all week long. The players, you know, always rave about that every year. So those, you know, there's some certain things that we don't have to change. Let's just keep doing what we're doing on those. Yeah. Um, but we're uh, we're going to get everything off the golf course. I'm going to give my staff a couple of days here and there to kind of catch their breath, and um, then we're when we're back at it. I got you. Sports talk guys this afternoon from Thrill Six will be talking more about this and uh, give you more in details as far as the game itself. But uh, I'll look forward to that three till six. Yeah, hey, Steve so is always special sir. thanks to all our volunteers. Yeah. Last week, a thousand people really helping us out, and you know, all of, obviously all of our sponsors and Absolutely. folks and the spectators for making it. A, they make it a great week for us. They had a chance to meet a lot of friends, get some exercise, and do a good deed in the, at the same time. So, thank hats off to all yeah. the volunteers. Steve, thank you, man. Appreciate it very, very much. Executive Director Sanderson thank Farms you. Championship. Good. Morning.